Hello Capricorn and welcome to my channel Green Lion Goddess. This is your fortnightly reading, a general reading for April the 16th through to the end of April. So it may or may not resonate, but we'll see. Hopefully there's something in this for you Capricorn. There will be a timestamp if you want to skip uh, the intro and the spiel of all my readings. It will be in the description box. But I just feel like I want to get straight into it this week. So let's get straight into it for you, Capricorn. What does Capricorn need to know? What energies are coming up? General energies are coming up for you guys. Ah, wow, we have Temperance. It's been a bit of a um, star performer, this Temperance card, especially with the Earth signs and some of the Air signs. So... <clears throat> restoring balance crossed by the queen of swords the ace of wands crowned the high priestess at the base nine of swords uh, sorry just near future we have the magician we have in the situation the tower that's also been making a bit of a appearance which is fair enough considering the energies around the eight of pentacles the page of swords and the outcome we have the queen of cups beautiful and at the bottom of the deck we have the four of cups okay great so let's get stuck into this capricorn we might get some clarifiers if we need it but we'll see how we go we have as the main energies we have temperance which is a Sagittarius card. It's a card of restoring balance, restoring its replenishment. It's also a card of expansion. So it's about bringing things, bringing the flow back into relationships, bringing peace into your head, balance in all areas of your life, this beautiful angel. And it does, it's this beautiful high vibrational golden energy, this card temperance. And you can see here, you know, the path is leading to the crown. It's leading back to your own power, to your own sense of uh, self, feeling good about yourself again. You are crossed by the Queen of Swords, which is the, the Queen of Swords is very much someone that, you wouldn't want to come against up against a battle with her. It's about mental clarity. It's about nurturing your own mind. So that could these could be the things that are kind of standing in the way of feeling balanced is your mental clarity, feel, being able to keep that, being able to find that space. So this energy is here for you. This is just a small block that's come in with this Queen of Swords energy. It could represent a person as well. It could represent an air sign uh, that is blocking your energy here. So, yeah, it could be Gemini, could be Aquarius, could be Libra. But I think more so as a general energy, it's just your mind and your thoughts. You're, you're struggling to find that clarity and to be able to maintain it and nurture it. I think you might have glimpses of it. That's why it's coming up. Because the Queen of Swords is such a strong energy. And it's interesting because in your recent past, you had the Nine of Swords, which is the opposite to that Queen of is, is of, of that clarity. This is stress. This is worry. This is anxiety. This is unreal fears. This is waking up at 3 a.m., bad dreams, nightmares, could be even any kind of negative thought or feeling can also be some negative uh, states of being such as feeling depressed, but there's a lot of worry and stress here. And so, yeah, I think that that has kind of, it's just hanging on a little bit. There's a little bit of that still here, but it's the clarity is coming, which is good. You are, and I think the clarity is coming a lot from your intuition because you've got the high priestess at that base there. But in the crowning the reading is this Ace of Wands energy, which is this beautiful new energy coming in, divinely presented to you, this new opportunity, a new vision, a new idea, a new desire to be doing something, to be wanting to do something new here. So this is kind of the energy that's on the surface that might be right in front of you that feels like it's it's happening right now. So yeah, it's this real it's this wonderful new energy that's coming in a new opportunity coming through here. And so that's why I think you're seeing you're really wanting to kind of get yourself out of this nine of swords state of mind. You're bringing in this balance. You can see the opportunity. You are wanting to do something new here. 
So uh, it's positive. It's really positive. You're trying to get yourself out of this situation, this sort of mental, this state where things were feeling very imbalanced, especially mentally. So we have at the base of the issue here the high priestess. So when she comes in and to have this in the base, uh, it's the deeper down energies. It can be your soul energy. It could be your heart energy or deep emotional energy. It can be subconscious. It just kind of depends on what it feels like. When the high priestess comes in, this is very strongly your intuition coming in and guiding you and can definitely be your soul and spirit coming in and connecting and guiding with you on, on a deeper level. So it's bringing in and restoring that balance with that beautiful temperance card. So you've got these much stronger major arcana energies that are working to bring that clarity and to find a space that this Ace of Wands energy can really flourish. Yeah, sorry, I'm making a mess of the... So the near future, we have the Magician. So this is really, you know, you've taken this idea and gone, okay, I really feel like I can do this. Let's do this. I'm feeling confident. I'm feeling inspired. I'm like, okay, I'm feeling like I have everything that I need to be able to make this happen. So the magician is an alchemist as well. They can make something from nothing. They can make turn that Ace of Wands into any kind of anything, this desire to be doing something new, it could be anything. And that, so I'm getting limitless possibilities here, but there is, so it's this very inspired state, very inspired state feeling like you have everything within yourself to be able to do this. Now you in the situation, we have the tower card and here is, <laughs> where you're struggling with a sense of stability and clarity because this is such an unstable energy here with this tower energy things have been the rug's just been pulled out of your from under your feet there's a lot of uh disruption there's a lot of change there's but things that have not been fitting in your life you know when the tower energy comes in it can bring with it some difficult change that is hard to deal with, but ultimately the energy is to make these changes for your greater good. And this is kind of you. You are this tower energy. This is representing you in this situation. So you're realizing that things need to be shaken up here within your reality, within your environment, within who you are, because things have not been working for you. So you're like, okay, I need to step into doing something new here, doing things differently. And the environment around you, the surrounding energies that you may or may not be aware of, but I think you're definitely aware of this one, is the Eight of Pentacles, which is hard work. You're willing to work. You're willing to put in the work. You're willing to really work at this. This could be a job that you're just throwing. I'm just getting a sense of throwing everything at this, making something concrete with your hands, really... Uh, Oh, what's the right word? I'm trying to get in my head, Capricorn. It's really just focusing your energy. So really disciplined and focused energy. So this is perfect energy around you for what it is that you're wanting to bring through here. Your hopes and fears. <laughs> sorry, thank you, George. He's like, yep. Your hopes and fears. Yeah, that's my rooster, sorry. Not just talking to imaginary people. The hopes and fears is this page of swords energy. So on one hand, you're looking for a fresh new opportunity. At the same time, you want it to be a good opportunity. You want it to be something that you want to be thinking this is actually good. It's not just, yeah, something below par here. You want to be feeling good about this and seeing this as, <laughs> thank you. Uh, I, I don't know if you're picking up that in the mic, but yeah, I, I'm just getting that because it's not, it's a page. It's not the king or the queen. It's kind of like you are wanting this, but at the same time, you ha you don't want it to be a king because you might not be quite ready. You're an ace at the moment. You're in ace, like, new beginning. It's everything's all fresh and new. You can't just walk in and go, oh, there's the king of swords. I'm going to deal with that and be the king of swords and deal with this energy. It's like you need to start with that page of worn, uh, page of swords energy. Sorry. 
with this new idea that's coming through. But at the same time, you need to know that it can develop into something bigger and better. So it's an initial energy that's coming through that you want, but yes, you want it to be something bigger as well. The overall energy, the outcome, sorry, is the Queen of Cups. And here it is, the beautiful Queen of Cups. This is replenishment. This is, she's holding that Ace of Cups, but she knows how to make herself happy and to nurture herself and to be master of her emotions and how doing things that will generate more love and more happiness and fulfillment. She knows how to do that. She's very strongly guided by that. And so she has this very attuned kind of navigation tool that she only picks things that she knows are going to go down the path of making her happy. And so that's a very, very it's a very, I, I feel like it's this sort of attuned decision process, state of decision process making, if that such a thing makes sense, that you will reach where you'll just be feeling, okay, this is, this is happy, this is fulfilling me. Because at the bottom of the base of the issue, we have, you know, the overarching energy, we have the four of cups and the bottom of the cards. And this is, you know, you know, with that Queen of Cups energy, she's very discerning about what opportunities she takes is going to bring her happiness. This Four of Cups is exactly that, very discerning. He's looking at that going, "What? this is what's on offer here. Is it going to make me happy? I'm not sure. Perhaps I'm a little bit, I'm not sure about this. So it's this sense of stepping into the future, learning very much from your mistakes and being very discerning very discerning energies that it was what I'm getting here about what's actually going to make you happy here, Capricorn. So I do want to pull just, I always pull a supporting card for the tower whenever it appears in a, a spread. So I'm going to pull a clarify for that for you, Capricorn. Oh, wow. The fool. How powerful is that? The fool represents taking a leap of faith, a new beginning, stepping into the unknown. Uh, so I think you're combined with the tower energy and this is, I think, generated by you because this is you representing this. You're definitely taking a leap of faith. You're, what, you're creating this new beginning. You're shaking things up deliberately because you're really wanting this new thing here. So incredibly powerful energies. You are the catalyst for this change here, Capricorn, and it's incredibly powerful. So I just want to commend and applaud you for that. It's it's brave to be doing what it is that you're doing, but it's like you almost like you wouldn't do it any other way. Why would you do it something differently? You see that something needs to change. You're going to change it. You're going to do it. You want this new beginning here. Do we want anything else? I might just pull it one for the magician coming up. And maybe one for the Queen of Cups. I don't really feel any great need to be maybe one for the Queen of Swords. Okay, the Queen of Swords. The Three of Wands is all around uh, success, initial success. It's also about finding the resources and support that you need. And so to find this balance and this clarity, you might be feeling like you don't have these things right at this moment. It also, it's a, a reversal of roles in terms of a power imbalance. So the King is actually offering his services here to Jason, who's actually the true king. So it's someone actually stepping into their power here, but it's this sense of you understand that's what needs to happen, which is why you've got that power, uh, that that tower, not power, it's kind of the same thing, the tower energy shaking everything up because you can see that that's where you want to be. That's what you're needing. That's what you're wanting, but you're not getting it right at this moment. But that is what's shifting and changing here with that temperance card. I'm just going to pull a card for the magician, just to clarify for the magician for you. 
Capricorn and one for the Queen of Cups. Yeah, six of wands, you know, success. This is success and recognition. This is Jason who's gone on his mythical quest to get the the golden she the golden fleece, uh, which is his mythical fleece that can heal anything. And here he is successfully achieving a goal. It's goal achievement. So there's this sense of setting a goal, being able to set a goal and feeling confident that you're going to achieve it or you have achieved it. But there's this really positive yeah, manifestation of success and goal achievement here coming up in the near future. So I'm going to pull just one last card as a clarifier for the Queen of Cups and then I'll just get a message from the angels in the universe for you, Capricorn. So let's just pull one last clarifier for the Queen of Cups. Oh, wow. The sun. Beautiful. Here we have Apollo, the god of healing of light and light. Happiness, clarity, beautiful golden energy. It's this real high vibrational energy here coming in. So happiness, again, the forefront of what this discerning, nurturing decision making is about what's going to bring you happiness. And there's happiness here in or bounds and it feels expanded like the sun energy shines, it, it emanates, it expands. And that's what we're seeing here in the expansion of the temperance card, the situation. It's about bringing in balance and and expanding those areas of life that you want, the things that you want to be brought into balance, but making them bigger and better. So let's pull a card for a message from the angels for you, Capricorn. What have you got for Capricorn? What do you want to say to Capricorn today, angels? What have we got for you, Cap? They have communicate clearly. So that's pretty clear. <laughs> that's a pretty clear message, really. Uh, so I would say that Within this whole situation, you know, there's a lot of changes. You're moving into this whole new energy. You're feeling pretty confident. There's goal setting. Within it, it's just saying clear communication along the way to both to people around you, but also to soul and spirit is actually really important. And one final card, a message from the animal spirit deck, a message from your soul or spirit. What do we have for Capricorn? Final messages as a message from soul and spirit for you, Capricorn. Ah, we have crow, beautiful, the wise crow. The crow sees the vision of the future is very psychic energy, very intuitive energy here. And we have the high priestess as your base energy here. The crow can, and this is, this is wonderful energy because the crow can see through the darkness and that's kind of what's being shaken up as this and it's stepping into the unknown. The crow very, very much aligned to spirit, is very intuitive. It's a very it's a guiding beacon and a guiding light energy to be able to navigate your way through new energies and new beginnings. So it's a very beautiful energy to be coming in for you guys. So I think you're going to be very, very intuitive and soul guided. So I hope that makes sense, Capricorn, and resonates for some of you. If you'd like to hear more, please like, subscribe or leave a comment. Please take care and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.